Hey everyone, it's Steve. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do something that I get asked a lot. So this is a 66 block, and this is where telephone wires terminate and how you take wires from the outside jacks and connect them to your phone system or phone service. And what you need to have is a punch down tool. The punch down tool comes with a special little blade in it. It's called the 66 blade. And it's designed specifically for the purpose of uh, pushing the wire down onto the pins and then at the same time cutting the wire when the process is done. But I get this question a lot that, you know, do I really need to buy one of these? Because like a beginner model is about, oh, 17, maybe 25 bucks, whereas a professional model is probably closer to like 75, 80. And they say, well, I just want to punch down one or two cables. Do I really need to buy one of these? So I'm going to go ahead and show you, even though I don't recommend this if you do this a lot, but if you just in a pinch need to do one or two terminations, I'm going to show you where you can do that by using something simple as... Uh, your your most skinniest uh, set of needle nose pliers the skinnier the better or skinnier and longer the better um, some kind of small but also sharp tip screwdriver so the, the the sharper the tip of the screwdriver the better but I mean it doesn't need to be a knife and I don't recommend using a knife and then of course a hammer and it doesn't even need to be a hammer as big as this all right so let's get in close and I'll show you what that's gonna look like using the pliers the screwdriver and the hammer Okay, we're back. So let's say that right here where this green pair is terminated on the outside pins, we need to cross connect this pair of jumper wire onto the next set of pins. Because remember on a 66 block, you've got every set of pins is paired. These two are paired to each other, these two are paired, these two are paired. Down the middle is like an invisible split. So whereas these over here are not connected to these over here. So what? if you don't know already, inside a 66 block in the pins, there's like a little groove, like a very tiny little wedge that goes right down the middle. And so what happens is you want to take your wires, and of course you want to lay them inside the little plastic guides, and then you want the wires individually to, to, to go down in those grooves, to go down those little Vs. Basically what's happening is the metal is acting as a, as a pinch, and as the wire goes down, which is what we want to do, when the wire goes down inside that V, as it goes down, the, there's a crushing action that happens which strips away the plastic and bites into the copper making an airtight seal with the copper wire. And again, the 66 block, I mean the 66 tool that I showed you a few minutes ago does this very gracefully and efficiently, but in this video I'm going to show you how to do it if you don't have a 66 tool. So remember I said that you want your skinniest pair of needle nose. Now if you don't have a pair of needle nose, you could probably get away with doing this with a screwdriver, but it's even more messy and I don't recommend it. Also, as we do this, we're going to be contacting the steel pins, and so whatever you're working on should be powered off. So I'm going to take my screwdriver, I'm going to take my, my pliers, and I'm going to gently push that wire down the V, all the way to the bottom. So now that wire, which I initially had put up here at the top of the V, I pushed into the into the pin. I pushed it all the way down the middle, all the way to the back. And then for good measure, take your pliers and just kind of give it a little pinch because that brings the, 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 the two sides of the pin back together again. All right, I'm going to do it one more time for the other pair. I mean, for the other wire. Pushing it all the way back to the bottom. And then just give it a little tweak here to tighten it up. Now... We've got this slack. Now you may be tempted to say, well, I'll just use some scissors and just cut off that slack. That's not a good idea. And the reason why is because you're not gonna be able to get close enough with a pair of scissors uh, to trim it off in such a way that it's not going to be a dangling tail. And what you don't want is a piece of dangling copper there that could contact the pins below it because that'll short out your, your circuit. So this is where the, remember I said, you know, a small sharp screwdriver. So what you wanna do without contacting the wire below it, so I'm going to just take this and kind of move the little orange wire down a little bit more there, is I want to lay the tip of the screwdriver right on top of the excess wire, just maybe not even but a millimeter below the, the pin that I just, you know, pushed the wire down on. Give a couple of light taps. Should be enough to perforate it. You should be able to just to wiggle it a few times. Maybe give it another little whack, a little harder. What we want to do is just have that piece of wire fall off, but at the same time not pull the the wire out of its seat. In other words, the white wire that's inside the groove there in that pinch point, we don't want that to come out. 
So if is after you do this, if you wiggle it and you find that wire coming back out, then you need to start over. Okay, one more time. About a millimeter just below where the wire went through the um, the groove. And then give it a few wiggles and it should just pop off. I'm gonna to try to move you in real close so you can get a good look at that. And, and I apologize in advance because I don't know how close the focal point of my iPhone can get you. Um, I have found the iPhone works a lot better at, at getting in close to things than the um, than my Samsung Android does. Anyway, so there you can, if you look, whoops, sorry about the shake there. Uh, let's see, those two pins right there, those are the ones I just did. And if you'll notice, let me move you down a little bit. Let me get you, move the elevation down a little bit. If you'll notice, you see the bottom of the white and the orange, how there's not that much sticking out of the bottom of the, underneath the pins, because you don't want anything more than just maybe like a millimeter or, or just a slightly more than that. All right, so that is how you can terminate wires on a 66 block if you don't have the appropriate tool. Again, because you're probably going to be contacting metal when you do this, and the nice thing is it's a 66 block that lets you do this while the stuff is turned on, but because you're gonna be using something like a screwdriver, a pair of pliers, you need to have this stuff powered off, otherwise it's gonna short out. All right, so I hope that helps you out if you ever wanted to know how to do that, and I appreciate you watching. And if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down, and then uh, tell me why you don't like it. Thanks so much for watching.